Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video in the um, Node.js and Express series. This episode is going to be short. I'm going to show you how to um, work with Nodemon, which is basically just a uh, package that allows you to run your um, your server forever. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what is Nomon? Again, it's just a package that you can install inside of your uh, your computer or just your project that will allow you to run your projects forever, to run the, the web server forever, the node thing forever. So basically that's useful because, you know, every time you change the code, you, you always have to like stop your node server and then restart it to see the effect of it, right? Also, if, if you have errors, it can crash your node server and then you have to restart it all by yourself. So what this does, it restarts everything for you. If you get an error, it'll restart for you. It'll just keep restarting until it's fixed. Or um, with this, if you if you change any code inside of your editor, it'll detect it and then it'll restart your server for you. It's just really cool. So uh, yeah, so there's two ways you can install it basically. Um, actually, well, no, nah, not really. So what you wanna do is go into, um, well, really any folder in your computer probably. But just go to your your project folder, okay, and then right click and do git bash here, you know, to open up the term terminal, and then do npm install nodemon dash g, and like I said before, dash g means it installs globally, meaning your whole computer is where you can use it. So yeah, so yeah, we're not doing dash dash save because this this won't actually be part of our, uh, you know, our, our project uh, exactly. It'll just help our project to run. Hopefully this tarries up. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Um, so let's go ahead and use it actually. So what we're gonna do is actually, um, hmm. Well, we're just gonna start up the server and see what happens. So we'll do node mon and then, so instead of doing node, you do node mon and then obviously, well not quite obviously for you, but just do node mon and then app.js, okay? So and then it'll say starting on port whatever, whatever. Well, it doesn't say that actually. It just says starting node app.js. App. <laughs> .js, okay, so yeah, it started for you basically, and so let's open up our, uh, our website to see if it worked. Okay, so we're here, it says welcome to my website, good. So let's check this out, okay, nothing. Um, so let's see if we change the code, if that will do anything different. So let's go ahead and open our project here. Uh, okay, so let's change some code, let's say, let's get remove the, let's remove the word welcome and see what happens. So it's gonna save automatically because I have autosave turned on, by the way. You might not know that, but yeah. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it restarted due to changes and restarts it, there we go. So that's really cool. So we don't even have to do that. You know, you have to touch the console right now while we're coding, so that's really cool. So if we reload our website, let's see. Oh, I see why it didn't work. Well, uh, I thought it changed the root um, route, but I actually changed the hello route. So let's go to hello. And yeah, it says hello, and then to the hello route. So uh, it doesn't show the word welcome. So yeah, it worked, good. So whenever I change the code, it does that. So, you know, whenever you change any code, it restarts for you. Okay, so let's see what happens when we come across an error for some reason. Let's make an error somehow. How can we make an error? Let's go ahead and um, let's just mess up all this code here. Just add some random crap. So, okay, it says gaming restart. I start, uh, gaming server website has started up. Good, so it's starting up. So let's go to our website. We'll do slash hello. And it says error. Cannot get dash hello or slash hello. And, uh, well, the error doesn't seem to show up, but, um, yeah, I'm not too good at making errors, it seems like. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Let's see what happens maybe if we have two send messages, res.send. Maybe that will produce an error. Um, okay, so it's restarting. Reload here. We'll go to game now. Enjoy the game. And, yeah, we do get an error here. But it's not an error that crashes the server, so... <laughs> Uh, anyway, the point is, guys, is that whenever um, you want to restart your server, Node Nodemon will automatically do that for you. So I hope you enjoy. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. If you found this helpful, leave a like. If you want to see more, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, if you think I'm the best YouTuber ever, uh, leave a like. Um, if you don't think I'm the best YouTuber ever, leave a like. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice night. Have a nice morning. Peace.